I just think that he's a conniving son of a bitch. In order to get respected, you gotta get respect. And the way you carry yourself and the way you look at certain people, man, I see now, I've been around you. Don't like it. I know how he may approach me as more like a um, piece of gum in his, uh, on, in his shoe or something, you know? Like, who, who is this? Let me take this off. You know, like, yeah, this is nasty. And I think it's like more disgust. Like, I shouldn't even be uh, mentioned. I appreciate it. Don't worry. Cool with me. F you too. Wow. <laughs> the war of words are definitely in full effect as Teofimo Lopez really goes at Lomachenko, and you know this is going to heat up a little more between Teofimo Lopez Jr. and Sr. Both of those guys have a gift of gab. Both of those guys express themselves very, very confidently, okay? Uh, very abrasively. Um, I am curious to see what Teofimo, or should I say what Loma did to Teofimo Lopez, you know, because he says it's personal. He says he doesn't like the way Loma looks at people or how he carries himself. He says he's seen it and he doesn't like it. I would like to know what he's talking about. You know, um, I'm going to reach out to Teofimo because, you know, I've heard some backstories about Teofimo Lopez and his... Um, <clears throat> And his uh, run-ins with Lomachenko, okay? You know, I did hear the story that he was discussing about uh, the hotel mix-ups. How Bob would have Lomachenko at this type of hotel. And then then uh, Teofimo at this other hotel. Then Teofimo would find out that he would go there. He went there and then, you know, supposedly, you know, uh, Loma found out he was there and he left. Things like that. You know, and I heard uh, Lopez thinking of that. But as far as something personally that Loma did, I would really like to know what he did. Because me counterpunching what I just heard, it's personal, meaning they had some type of run-in. Would they date the same girl, same side piece, same what? Was it a Polly and, and Broner kind of situation? I don't know. You know, because according to Teofimo, he's never liked Loma. You know, and he's never really said anything good about Loma you know, that I can remember, you know, so a lot of things he said has been to the point where he is personally, it's like, an, it's a personal fight between Loma and, and, and Teofimo, so it's going to be, it's going to be very interesting, you know, I would like to hear what Loma has to say with his war words, you know, and again, you know, he says he thinks he's a conniving bitch. Again, what did he do that was conniving? You know, is Loma conniving? How is he conniving? These are things that I want answers to. Because it's not enough, something tangible, not enough has happened to me that Loma has did to Lopez to have me thinking, why is Lopez so pissed at him? You know, I really want to know that. You know, so, you know, perhaps I will reach out to him for an interview and then he can come on the show and tell me, yo, this is what it is. This is why I do not like Lomachenko. I would very, very, very much like that. Okay. But <clears throat> definitely, you know, he looks serious. And I, I know Teofimo, he sells things. He's a, he's a good promotioner, right? He promotes himself, you know, which a lot of fighters have grown to do, which is a good thing for the sport. But I think this is different. I think this is something that is that that, Lo, that Loma has done to him. And I need to know what that is, you know? So um, hopefully things will unravel to let people know the backstory behind Teofimo Lopez and Vasily Lomachenko. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about the war of words between Loma and Teofimo. Teofimo calling him a no good son of a B <laughs> and F you too. <laughs> you guys tell me what you think about uh, the war words coming from Teofimo Lopez. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.